Hi there, Valentine's Day is coming and I'm gonna show you how to make this beauty. If you don't believe in love yet, you will. To me, the ultimate proof of love, it's when you cook something yourself. Do you really wanna be kissed? You're gonna have to earn it. And you only need two things, a good recipe and making process. And you know where to go, right? BrunoAlbus.com. Let's get to work. So first in the agenda, I'm going to make the pecan brownie. So first I'm gonna beat on high, eggs and sugar. Now I'm going to transfer the egg mixture into a pastry bowl. And then to follow, I am going to beat the softened butter with the chocolate. But you want to add the chocolate slowly in three times. This brownie biscuit is going to be the base of our cake. Its texture is quite incredible. Look at that. This is just butter and chocolate. Watch. So now I'm going to incorporate one third of the egg uh, sugar mixture. Mix it well and add the remaining. Then I'm going to add the sifted flour and the chopped pecans. Spread this awesome brownie butter onto a lightly oiled baking mat or parchment paper and bake for about 20 minutes. Next, hazelnut spread well known as praliné. Praliné can be made with different kinds of nuts, though the most common and used by many pastry chefs around the world is the hazelnut praliné. I'm going to simplify its making process today. So first, I'm gonna make a caramel sec. Throw in vanilla and the toasted hazelnuts. Spread these beautiful caramelized nuts onto a baking mat and let cool before turning it into paste. Isn't it gorgeous? So now, listen. You're still singing. It tells you something. Yeah. What else? <laughs> that is amazing. It's gonna take a few minutes to process and you should end up with this. Merveilleux. How's in the praliné? Done. Next, I'm gonna make the crunchy praliné, which is a mixture of melted milk chocolate, praliné, and melted butter. And the crunchiness will be given by dried crepes or wafers, also called feuillantine. But if you cannot find it, you can sub it for a cornflakes. And that's what I'm gonna do. Crush them and fold into the chocolate praliné mixture. Now, roll out into a quarter inch, six millimeter thick sheet and chill. Once chilled, cut into desired shapes and freeze. Next, the lemon marmalade. To une histoire. Heat up lemon juice with water, then mix in the sugar and agar-agar mixture. Bring to a boil, cook for a couple of minutes, and chill over ice water. Then refrigerate to set, and mix with a squirt of olive oil. Indeed, olive oil balances out the tartness of the lemon. Then I'm gonna chop some of my poached lemons. Semi confit lemons. Look that up on my website. Mold out your marmalade insert 
and freeze completely. Now let's make the white chocolate hazelnut mousse, which is a ganache monté. First, you want to infuse the whole hazelnut in milk. Blend and sieve. Return milk back to the saucepan, add the first half of the heavy cream, bring to a boil and mix with the chocolate. Throw in gelatin and chilled heavy cream. And then our beautiful praliné. Blend well and refrigerate overnight. Now the fun, the montage. The inserts are ready to go. Let's finish the mousse. So keep an eye on it. You know pastry, French pastry, it's about flavor, not sugar. Not anymore. Back in the days, we used to add a lot of sugar and cakes. But nowadays, it's quite the opposite. I mean, you cannot drop the sugar too much because, of course, you need some sugar and pastries anyway. But every chef right now in France focuses on flavor. You can make things pretty, but first, work on taste, layers, and texture. That is crucial. All right, let's go. So that's what you want soft picks. When using a silicone mold, build your cake upside down. So you want to start with a fair amount of chocolate mousse first, then top and press down with uh, the lemon insert. Pipe out more mousse following the border. Smooth out with the spoon, then add the crunchy praliné, followed with the brownie. As you can see, what's going to be the bottom side of the brownie has been coated with chocolate, just like the opera cake. This recipe yields two cakes, just about 12 servings. Let me show you now how to build a classic entremet cake. You just want to go to the opposite way from what we just did. Brownie first, the mousse, frozen inserts, mousse again, Done. Place cakes in a freezer for 12 hours. Now we have plenty of time to take care of our chocolate mirror glaze. Watch. Bring to a boil water, sugar, and corn syrup. Remove from the heat. Add condensed milk, chocolate, and gelatin. Blend, sieve, and chill overnight. When ready to glaze, demold your cakes and keep them frozen. Rewarm mirror glaze to 104 Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. I hope you have enjoyed this exceptional Valentine's Day dessert episode. To get the full recipe, you know where to go, right? BonoAlbus.com. And sure thing, try this out, take a peek, and tag me on Instagram at BrunoAlbus. Thank you again for watching. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day, and see you very soon. Mm.